A week after the West Side Outcasters opened, the Tangier Classic Fishing Tournament was held in Crisfield, Maryland. It was a bigger than expected turnout for the inaugural event, and the goal was to raise money for a great cause. Since you can fish anywhere in the Chesapeake Bay for the Tangier Classic, Captain Steve Mason and crew with Beach to Bay Guide Service are heading out of Deal Island to fish the final day of the tournament. It's a slow ride thanks to the fog, but the 6.30 start time is still about an hour away. The fog begins to lift as we cruise into Monai Bay, and Steve is hoping to get on some rockfish like they did the previous afternoon. The crew is well off the lead right now, but they're hoping to put some inches on the board. Scoring for the Tangier Classic is based on length, and anglers will take a photo showing the measurement and send it to tournament officials. Anglers Mike Heiler, John Lindbeck, and John Jones start getting into some fish, but it's what appears to be a shark that has captured the crew's attention at the moment. I lucked into a decent cast and spooked what we assume is a bull shark. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find out here. After that, Captain Steve finds a hole holding a wide variety of fish, although nothing of any size significance, but it's enough to keep everyone casting. Some of the fish line from the trout I put on the grub or the uh, rubber part. Why is that? As an attractant. Whether it works or not, I don't know, but. A lot of throwbacks. A lot of fish, but nothing on the leaderboard yet. He's anything from bluefish, white perch, you know. Uh, we caught, uh, came up to a bull shark today. Didn't get the hook up, but uh, you know, that wasn't an eligible species anyway. But of course, rockfish, speckled trout, red drum. And uh, uh, apparently a lot of people put a lot of, uh, a lot of fish on the board this week. We weren't so lucky, but we put some stuff up there, right? We had 218 registrants this year. You could fish in a team, three divisions. You had kayak, kids, and your powerboat division. You had uh, several Calcuttas as well. You know, species Calcuttas, uh, different uh, brackets. And it worked out pretty good. We raised a lot of money for a great good cause. Just benefiting a local family, uh, Lane Dodson, the young boy. He's got uh, leukemia and diabetes. Uh, we're just trying to come together as a community, do anything we can for them. And just how much the Tangier Classic benefited Lane Dotson is amazing. For a total of $20,551.54. Our community has been amazing. Like, you just, you don't expect that kind of, you know, support. Like, I, I knew, like, some people would not reach out to us and help us with stuff, but, like, being from a small town, it's amazing. <laughs> like, you just, I don't think you get this in, like, the big cities or whatever. And, when these guys reached out to us and they were like, we think Lane's the perfect candidate to be a recipient of our fishing tournament. We, we never expected like all this, like this is, this is crazy. The Tangier Classic also had some wounded veterans in on the fishing fun, one of whom was a member of our crew. Well, I just got a call and one of the things they do for me is encourage me to get out and participate in events. So when this event was going on, I just got a call and said, John, do you want to go on a fishing tournament? And I said, yes. So they basically paid for everything for me. All I had to do was show up and go fishing. And you can't beat that. You certainly can't beat the impact that Tangier Classic has had on the community in only its first year. And we can't wait to see what they hook into when next year's tournament comes to town. Get outdoors, Delmarva!